The Jamaica Labour Party is leading the People's National Party by nine percentage points in the latest RGR Gleena Don Anderson polls, which looked at voter intention. The poll was conducted between August 19 and September 3 and has a margin of error of plus or minus 3%. Vashon Brown now joins us live in studio with the details. Vashon. Thank you so much, Herman. Well, these latest numbers are essentially in line with what we have been seeing for the past two days. When you look at the poll results, which were released on Monday and Tuesday this week, they showed that though the performance ratings for the Jamaica Labour Party administration dropped significantly, the JLP was still better perceived than the People's National Party. So now, in the latest party standings, the JLP is ahead. September 3, 2020, the Jamaica Labour Party returned to office after winning 49 of the 63 seats in Parliament. It was the first time the party was winning back-to-back -back elections in more than 50 years. A year into the JLP's victory, pollster Don Anderson and his team went into the field and asked Jamaicans, if elections were called today, who would you vote for? 26% of all persons said they would vote for the Jamaica Labour Party compared to 17% who said they would vote for the People's National Party. So two things from that. First is that the JLP has a nine percentage point lead over the People's National Party at this time. And that's a substantial lead in any election. A nine percentage point, I'm not going to try to translate that into seats or any such thing. But a nine percent gap really is a, is a decent gap for one party over the other. Mr. Anderson says the other significant point from the data is that 57% of the 1,003 persons interviewed said they either would not vote or were not sure who they would vote for. How is that broken down? There are 31% who say we are not going to vote. So it could be if this holds true, then the apathy factor would probably have increased. And then there's another 26% who said, well, we're not sure. And we can understand that because they really aren't thinking of an election right now. In the August 2020 poll, 37% of the respondents said they would vote for the JLP, while 25% said they would vote for the PNP. A 12 percentage points lead for the JLP heading into the election. In another poll done in July 2020, 36% of the respondents said they would vote for the JLP, while 20% said they would vote for the PNP. A 16 percentage points lead for the JLP at the time. In the meantime, for this latest poll, Mr. Anderson says he also did an analysis of the demographic profile of the persons who say they would vote for the JLP versus the PNP. In the case of the PNP, previous polls consistently showed that the party appealed more to the older voters than the younger ones. But a very interesting piece of information has come out of this analysis by demographics, and that is that when you look across the demographics, there is not this high for the People's National Party amongst the older voters, as is normally the case, almost time immemorial. And it says to me that perhaps in that bunching of that 57% where they don't know who they're going to vote for, who are not going to vote, are probably a significant percentage of PNP supporters. It's conjecture, but it's, it is, it is a, a logical conjecture based on the data and all the data that we have for all the polls that we have done over the last 30 years. And as for the JLP? Right across the board, the Jamaica Labour Party maintains round about a 9 and a 10 percent per point gap across all the age groups. Very important piece of information to note. So Vasha, now what were the main reasons people gave for voting for the JLP or the PNP? So let us first talk about that 26% of respondents that said that they would vote for the Jamaica Labour Party. They were asked to give reasons, and you can see here 42% of the respondents said that they can manage the country better. We have 39% saying that they will do a, a good job. 31% is the best party, and 26% traditional supporters. Now, uh, we now look at the 17% that said that they would vote for the PNP. They were also asked why. Just like in previous polls, tradition topped the list of why they would vote PNP. It's the way they've always voted. That was the reason given by 47% of the respondents. 28% said they want to see what the president, Mark Golding, can do. 24% said the PNP is the best party. And 21% said can manage the country better. Now, for clarity, what the pollsters did was to ask people an open-ended question. 
why would you vote PNP or JLP? And people were able to give as many responses as they saw fit. Herman, it's back to you. All right, thanks, Bashan. Now, in the meantime, the, in light of the drastic fall in the government's favorability, as reflected by the RGR Gleaner Don Anderson poll, the administration says it has taken note of the findings. Information Minister Favor Williams admitted that polls do provide a realistic indication of, many, of any government's performance as seen by the public. She says the administration has taken note of the negative changes in the public's perception over the past year have plunged in the performance ratings just one year into their new term in government. Managing Director of the Western Mirror newspaper, Lloyd B. Smith, says it's clear Jamaicans are fast losing confidence in the government. What strikes me, though, is the precipitous... And we do apologize for the incorrect insert there.